So I read a story sometimes on Facebook about a woman whose son, the fatality of his son came into Christian. And then somebody told the husband, look that child, that child look like your son. Are you sure your wife is not up to something? Because we are told that the only person who knows the real parents of the child are the mothers. Abby, mothers and maternity tests now, before it was only mothers. Well, the man, you know, believed what was told. And started asking the wife, this child, whose son is this? And the woman was like, yes. I have never cheated on you since we started living together. And she had really not cheated. The man said, I don't think this baby belongs to me. I let's go for paternity test. And they went. They did the test. Check the woman and the baby. I mean, check the man and the baby. Negative. Ah. And here's the woman. Are you sure I'm this? The test says negative. So whose son is this? The woman was confused. Then I tested the woman and the child and discovered that it was also negative. Confusion now everywhere. So what is the likely explanation? All of them were totally confused. And I think the writer of the message eventually said there was a switch over. And this is where the aura of Moses and doctors came. <laughs> I think the baby was wished as a as a If you were the woman, and first of all you conducted the secretly, and even discovered that the baby is not yours, how would you tell your husband that kind of thing? How would you tell your husband that kind of thing? If we don't even have paternity test now, and um, okay, so yeah, with paternity test and all of that. And this kind of thing, how are you the only woman? Of, how would you tell your husband? How would your husband believe that the child you suckled, right? You came home from the hospital with the child, suckled the child, all of a sudden, it's not that the child is neither yours nor your husband. Will you tell him? How will you tell him? <laughs> is it, will any man believe that story? It will be difficult. If you are a man and you discover, how will you believe that your wife come and say, this baby is not my is not your own? Then who's own? And she say, I don't know. Baby, you brought back. You will say your wife is up to something, three of us. That's what Mary and Joseph So at first uh, gospel. Say, this is how Jesus came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. No one means to be betrothed. For a baby's year, it means that when you were small, your husband's parents and your own parents met behind you without you and concluded your wedding and said this is who you will marry. Then maybe when you got a particular age, say eight or nine, they packaged you very well and we beat you to the man. Then the man will be waiting until you get to puberty before he will touch you. So for such ladies, from puberty to maternity, no romance. That was Mary's condition. From puberty to maternity, it's a no romance. No falling in love. They didn't even know what falling in love is. But yet for this is quite even point. You fall in love several times and stand several times. You even have the audacity to choose who you are going to marry and who you will not. Some of you say your own choice is like I said, oh, he's tall. No, I don't want to love him. Oh, I don't want this. And that. you are choosing. You know? Those days, some ladies, men never had the freedom to fall in love or fall out of love. Her own in love was decided by her parents. Whether you are falling in love or not, this is the man who is going to get married um, to and all of that. So she was born to Joseph and all of that. Then all of a sudden, she had a visitor whom she understood to be an angel, a supernatural being, and all of that conversation saying you conceive. The Holy Spirit come upon you, you will bear a son. What I may not understand, you don't understand. She said, Let it be done to me according to your when immediately she got pregnant. I'm sure many of us here we are thinking that Mary went and told Joseph that she's now pregnant. Many of you are thinking like that. No. Like I told you. If so if you're not, you go and tell Joseph. What exactly will you tell Joseph? Hey, darling, 
No, no, they don't record that in that day. In a book. That's what they record that day. My Lord, Master, I was sleeping, you know. Then one spirit came, boo, 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 boo. And he gave, then I got pregnant. Yeah. Imagine it. It was a ridiculous story. She didn't tell Joseph nothing. And Joseph did not notice because if you go to Luke's account, when Angel finished talking to Mary, Angel told her that your cousin Elizabeth, whom people have called Barry, is now in her sixth month. What happened after that? The Bible said Mary went in haste. So immediately she left. That means for the first, and she stayed with Elizabeth for how many months? Three months. Luke chapter 1, 50, 50, 50 something. That was the first three months of her pregnancy. Joseph was not away because she was not in the house. If she was there, Joseph would have suspected. Maybe do her vomiting or what do they call it? Body sickness, have you? When a woman takes in, there are signs that usually come. Even when before the stomach starts, but have you? Maybe Mary would have been convinced that Joseph would like, okay, matter, why are you vomiting up and down? I don't know. Why did you see your period last? <laughs> All the other would have come, but she stayed with Elizabeth. So for the first three months, she was gone. The only person, Mary never told nobody, and I didn't know about The only person who knew that Mary was pregnant was mysteriously pregnant with a mysterious child was who? Elizabeth. And it was through the gossip of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that gossip to Elizabeth. But nobody knew. From about two days, Mary didn't tell anybody. I'm sure Mary was even wishing that Elizabeth's um, pregnancy would have extended for so she would stay there. But the moment Elizabeth gets pregnant, Joseph would call her and say, Yeah, I have come back. And say she's not born. Come back. And she get, she got back home. So last story with Joseph, as the bones were going, what will happen? The stomach will do what? What will body? So I mean, but she couldn't hide it again now. I'm sure Joseph noticed some. Joseph, yeah. Mary, come, 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 come. What is that thing I'm seeing? Mary stood silent. Joseph came and said, That thing I'm seeing, is it not pregnancy? At this point, Mary knew she could not say, Yes, it's pregnancy. And then Joseph would say, Pregnancy? Eh? Mary, you know I've not touched you. Me, myself, I know I've not touched you. And God in heaven knows I have not touched him. Mary is responsible. Mary's mouth shut. How could she tell Joseph and it was spirit? Even at the Holy Spirit wasn't even known in the Jewish culture as much. Trinitarian revelation started with Jesus. So they would have told Joseph it is spirit. Joseph said, Who spirit? Your ancestors spirit or who spirit? My ancestors spirit. No, no. She kept quiet. She never said anything, but it was useless. Tell Joseph it was spirit that impregnated him would be an insult to Joseph's intelligence. It's like any man here, your daughter just comes home, but you try to discover something that your daughter is pregnant, and you're asking her. She does not mention the go for or glory. Doesn't mention John or Peter or Abdullah or anybody. And you keep pressing and she say, you know, he's spirit. Or she said, as I was passing one day, one guy was gonna wait. He just waved at me and said, receive it. Then I became pregnant. Right How many of you fathers here will believe? That's ridiculous. How could you tell yourself a, a virgin you are pregnant? That I said that a cross is telling someone I'm still a virgin. A no cross is saying I am a virgin. But you can tell politicians saying I'm I'm honest and innocent. They don't work. Praise God. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.